Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Pixel Starships video. So today I'm going to be covering a strategy that is actually quite close to my heart. Uh, it's actually one of the first few strategies that I embarked on and have found a tremendous amount of you know satisfaction and and fun uh, using. So as you saw, you know at the start of the video, uh, it basically I sent over a couple of crew to enemies uh, a room or enemies ship and basically blow up you know, everyone who is in that room instantaneously. So this is very effective, um, you know, I think it's ranging from the lower levels uh, all the way to until the end game, right? This I think is a very viable strategy and it's also a very, very fun strategy to use. So what does it involve, right? Um, so the first thing you need is actually uh, a crew that has this rush ability called uh, rush command. So what it does is based on your ability stat uh, so for example in this case uh, right now it's at 71 over 80 so if the person enters the room and uses his ability called rush command it basically charges up the room up to 70 percent right so effectively you want this set to be as high as possible 100 percent if if uh, you can actually achieve that right and so i have some crew that actually has uh, achieved this so you do this by you know training your crew uh, using this ability stat as much as possible or you can actually equip certain uh, gear that boosts your abilities so in this case i have a heavy assault armor as well as uh, i think a pants yeah one of these pants right that you know grants ability bonuses so uh, as much as possible you want to hit uh, at least a hundred ability but you know it can be a quite expensive or you, you it will take quite a bit of time to do this so uh, that's fine uh, you know basically get it as high as possible if you can if you can't you can actually get more rush crew that has a lower stat but you can just use more, more of them all right so i covered the rushes uh, the next type of crew that you need are actually people or crew that have this ability called poison gas so what Poison Gas does is, this crew, when it enters a room, it will basically do uh, detonate the Poison Gas and inflict damage equal to your ability. So in this case, um, my zombie has an ability score of 13.3. So it does effectively 13.3 uh, HP worth of damage to every single person in the room. Hence, you know, in the video you saw earlier, when I sent over two crew that has the Poison Gas, it, you know, it does a combined damage of almost 20 plus uh, HP damage to everyone in the room, effectively killing anyone there. So this strategy is very good if you send your poison gas crew to the enemy's teleporter, which tends to be populated uh, with a lot of their crew, which they are trying to send over to your ship. Uh, or you can actually send this over to like in the enemy's uh, lasers or missiles or basically rooms that you know contain a lot of crew by default. For me, I personally like to send it over to the enemy's teleporter, uh, as you've seen in the video, because um, at the start of uh, each battle, uh, all the crew will probably rush to the teleport room uh, waiting to be sent over. Hence, that's where you can inflict actually the most damage uh, onto the enemy ship. Right. So, um, basically, yeah, that's pretty much the two prerequisites you need. Uh, in terms of types of crew that you want to get to basically enable this strategy, uh, I would highly recommend you, uh, if you are not a pay-to-win player, to try and you know, prestige um, uh, crew to get this guy called Hugh Hall Hallelujah. Yeah. So he's a guy who can easily hit 100% uh, uh, ability bonus. So you know what this means is when you put him in the room, he instantly charges up the teleport and sends over a guy. Uh, another very good crew that I use, which you know comes pretty often in terms of the the store, is Maya. So she as well, you know, has a very good ability base ability stat of fifty. Uh, hence, <coughs> to reach hundred or so is is pretty uh, doable. Of course, if you are a pay to win player, um, then you can actually consider uh, prestiging uh, this crew called Paralympic God. So why this is great. Uh, why this is the best uh, rusher is because he has a base training uh, stat of 110 
means you can keep training this percentage to a really high percentage. So in this case, as you can see, I'm at 62%. And because his base ability uh, starts at 55, it's a lot easier to, to reach you know, a minimum of 100% uh, 100 ability. Right, so next I want to cover uh, the AI commands that you need to configure uh, in order to execute this rush strategy. So uh, let's start with the rushes first. So of course, at the very first line, uh, you're going to input a none and then use special power. So that's quite straightforward. Um, the second line, I actually use this command that says enemy ship has cloak, target random enemy room. So what this does is if in the event that you battle against a instant cloak rush um, uh, opponent, uh, you don't want your you know your crew to basically run off to his home room uh, instantly, right? Uh, so in this case, if the enemy has a cloak on, your guy is actually going to go to he's going to try to target the enemy room, and that actually puts him on the teleport on your own teleport, right? So that when the cloak runs out, you can actually instantly use your teleport skill because you are in the teleporter. So lines three to seven are pretty much my you know uh, repair commands. So you can ignore them for now. Okay, so the next part is going to be a little bit confusing, uh, but pretty much uh, the most important part of you know, getting this rush uh, off successfully is lies in these four uh, commands here. So uh, I'm just going to try to break it down for you. Uh, so the first thing that happens is when uh, the game is processing all your commands, you basically loop through everything and uh, for the first run through, everything will be false except number 11, where it will start to have a target room. So this is basically to tell your rusher to target a specific room. In this case, it's the missile room. And ideally, you want your missile room to have no crew in it at the start. Um, I'll explain why later, right? So uh, first run through of the commands, uh, your, your crew is going to start walking to the missile room. So the next run through uh, is going to hit uh, line number 10. And line number 10 says that target room has no enemy crew. And because your missile is go not going to have any enemy crew, uh, it's then going to target your teleport uh, room. And this is really important, right? Because um, you need to target your teleport room to trigger your ability, which is a rush, right? And when you trigger your ability, you will then send over your, your gases to the other person's uh, room, right? The, your, the other ship's room. So this has to happen so that you can you know, use your ability. Now, uh, it will run through the third time. And then basic, and so after the running through the third time, you will check that your target room has friendly crew. So by default, you will want to at least place at least one unit. It could be a defender or it could be just some random uh, crew in your teleport room such that uh, it will then force your guy to then target your missile room. So the reason why you want to do something that is so complicated, right, is that um, there's can there can only be a maximum of three units in your teleport room, right? So if you you know, input a command that says that if your ship has full shields, target your teleport room. What this is going to do is that for the fourth, fifth, and sixth rusher that you might have, they will be stuck. They won't be able to move into the teleport room and you know send over uh, their crew. So um, basically, what you will see is uh, your crew uh, trying to alternate between the home room, which is the missile room, as well as your teleport room. And what you end up seeing is actually your crew kind of doing like a spasm uh, between the both rooms until you insert a, a release command such as you know no shields make your crew go to a certain room if you are a new player and you don't have that many rushes uh, what you can do is you can basically uh, input a command where it says like if your ship or the enemy have ship has full shields target your teleport room and, and, and that's actually good enough so uh Next would be the AI for your gases. So pretty much it's quite straightforward. Uh, right now, uh, this is what I use. So of course, at the start, you need to you know power up your ability. 
then what I do is uh, I, I use enemy ship is full shield or your ship is full shield. The reason why you want to do this is that in case he's you know leveling up his shields or in fact you might be leveling up your shields and hence you don't have full shields. Uh, you want to be always able to trigger this command to um, target the enemy teleporter. So the enemy teleporter will be my first uh, room of choice because most likely there'll be a lot of crew waiting to teleport over as you've seen in my videos. Uh, so you know, playing you some of these videos now, uh, you can see how it's, you can do inflict so much damage if you just teleport to the enemy's teleport room right, and, and inflict your poison gas. Uh, next, um, I basically have a command that says that if the target room is destroyed, continue current drop. So once um, the teleporter room is destroyed, I actually want my, my units to stay there for a while to ensure that the teleport is not repaired and up and running. Um, hence, you know, I put this command here to say that, you know, to basically remain in that room. And then, uh, I have a command here, number 4, which says that if the enemy ship is below 75%, uh, start targeting the reactors. So the idea is that you know, I wanted them to stay in the teleport room for a while, and when I know that I'm actually doing a decent damage on the enemy ship, uh, I want him to actually move to the enemy reactors and start disabling uh, their power. Yep. So the rest of my commands are basically to uh, compensate for the situation when, let's say, they don't have a teleport room or they don't have a hangar room, right? Or they don't have a cannon room. So it basically goes down the list. Uh, I chose rooms that uh, have a high potential of um, having populated uh, crew. So like the hangar room, usually they have like three to four of even, uh, yeah, three to four rush crew. So this is a good spot, uh, a good room to target. The enemy cannon room as well, uh, because I uh, this this strategy is weak against uh, enemy EMP, so I want to disable th those EMP rooms as soon as possible. Uh, followed by the shield rooms, and lastly the the reactor rooms. So you can't go wrong with you know targeting enemy reactors. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much uh, the entire strategy. Uh, it's very simple but super fun, right? And and very satisfying when you actually uh, blow up a ton of the enemy crew. So this is actually something that I still use um, into the late game. So I am changing my strategy a little bit right now. Uh, so I'm actually pivoting towards crew that have a bit more health, uh, a bit more sustainability, and can you know sit there and actually fight off enemy crew and actually survive. Uh, so that involves, but I'll probably cover that in another video, right? So yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I want to say for this. Uh, I strongly encourage you to try it out. And uh, hopefully you enjoy and have fun, you know, demolishing your opponents the same way I did. So uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.